That looks bloody good. What is it, cheese? It's cheese tortilla. Mm, good life for some people, isn't it? Mm. What have you been up to today? Not much. Mm, I can't see you, honey. Better? Yeah. Love you. I love you too. So, I've got some uh, good news. Mm -hmm. You're going to be a big sister. Wait, is she pregnant? Mm hmm. Really? Yep. So, I'm very, very excited. I'm very happy. I want you to be happy. Uh, it's amazing. You're going to have a sister, honey. Her name is Alma. That's so nice. Her name is Alma Baldion Toll. My relationship with technology has always been bittersweet. I appreciate how it can improve our quality of life, but I am also wary of the addiction and social disconnection it can create. But given the current circumstances, without being able to see our loved ones, I have had to reassess my relationship with technology and appreciate the connections it's allowing us to have. Being pregnant during a pandemic is a very isolating experience. But we're trying our best to keep it fun and uplifting. It amazes me how quickly we're able to adapt, how fast the unthinkable becomes the new normal. Is this the moment where we fully embrace our digital way of life? And will this forever change our traditional forms of interaction? Mama. Mama. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Mama. Well, you're a circus cat. Ah, oh, in the pregnancy, I feel great. Everything has been feeling great. Baby's doing good. Alma has been very kind to me. She's starting to move a lot, which I know she's gonna be a very active baby. I think she's gonna be a dancer. It's just emotional sometimes, you know, it's just sad not to be able to tell people in person that you're pregnant and have the hugs and the love and people rubbing your belly and just being sad that we have to do it all via FaceTime and just see people's excited, but through a screen. Hey, babe. Hi. How are you? I'm okay. What's going on? You're going to be an auntie. <gasps> <laughs> Best reaction ever. <laughs> yep. Yeah, Auntie Holly's. <laughs> oh, my God. My heart just stopped. Oh, I saw. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so excited. Well, I have an amazing idea that I wanted to propose. Yeah. And it is, would you be my doula? Oh my God! I was just thinking about you today. And I was like, I bet you they're gonna get pregnant. Oh my God! <laughs> Nana, I wanted to say congratulations. Congratulations, Nana. You're what? gonna be an auntie. Really? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Finally! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yep. Ay, qué chiva con razón. Te querían llamar. Oh my god. Quarantine baby. Quarantine baby. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Her name, oh. her name, her name is Alma. Alma Sol. Yes. Right? It's gonna be a girl? Yeah. Alma. You know, so how many, how many months are you already? Five months in ten days. So it's not a quarantine baby. No. no. <laughs> it's a pre-quarantine baby. Pre -quarantine. It, was a, it was a Christmas baby. It's it was a, a Christmas, Christmas gift. Oh. <laughs> nice Christmas baby. Uh -huh. You're gonna have a little friend to play with. <laughs> Damn, little girl. When are you doing? Uh, September 11. Oh, that's a <laughs> So happy for you, so what's your due date? 
<laughs> she's an apocalyptic baby, we call her. She's, <laughs> she's like, I'm coming to save the world. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> you know what? 9-11 is a really good number in the uh, astrophysics number. And it's where it's, Jamie's parents got married. It's their my, anniversary. My parents got married. Everything's aligning. You can that's see a, that's a that's nose, that's a mouth. Yeah. Oh my gosh. She me. looks like Pow almost. <laughs> she does. She has Pow's profile. Uh -huh. Yes, it's a mini me. Oh, she's got her mom's body too. Look at that. <laughs> she does. Wow. Was this uh, part of the plan? Were you guys trying or did it just happen? In December, we said like, okay, we, we should start trying now because why not? You know, like let's try in yeah. December. And on the first day we tried, I got pregnant. It was just like, wow. And then in January, we knew about the coronavirus. It was like, oh, well, this is not really a perfect time to be doing this, but maybe it is, you know? It's, it's, it's kind maybe of it right. Is. It is good to be at home and yep. uh, I was saying, care yourself. I was saying, mm -hmm. I've been saying to, to like the doctors and stuff, is like, you know, when Paloma was born, I was working 15 hours a day building a yeah. fucking business, you know? And right now, I've got nowhere to be. Nowhere yep. to go. We get to be yeah. fully engaged in the whole experience, and it's amazing, man. Oh, the nose, yeah. Oh, she's darling. Yes. So cute. <laughs> so wow, cute. there's a little human in there. It's a little human with bones and everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that's fantastic. So cool, Paula. Nice. That's really, really good news. Oh, yeah. Lots of fresh air and all this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's a head. See, it's a nose, it's a mouth, it's a head, shoulders. How many months? She is five months. What she, the hell? She's so been going for a while. You know, I was waiting and waiting and waiting, trying to get to New York, but at this point in time, I can't come until yeah. until the until the virus is under control. So, yeah, what do you think? You upset? You're happy? You? I'm not upset. I mean, it's There's not the. No reason to be upset. Huh? There's no reason to be upset. There's no reason. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. It's just not the way I want it. It's shocking. It's shocking, yeah. It's not. Yeah. 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 And one of the things I've learned a lot about this whole pandemic is that I'm going to give you more massages. <laughs> I'm going to be. We're going to be a little bit, bit more time together, you know? Yeah. You know, because it's like. You, you, you don't know what you've got until you don't have it anymore. Meaning that, you know, not being able to come see you is, is being very hard on me. Yeah. I, I know it's probably been hard on you. Not that you really care because you got your computer games. No, that's not true. I really do. So. Sorry, but, my hands are all Gross. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. I'm so excited for you to be the bigger sister I am to my sister. <laughs> Is your tummy okay? Yeah, it's really okay. Sure. I can show you. I can show you little sister. Wow, it's getting big. It's getting big. But oh my god, hopefully he, she looks like me. <laughs> yeah. Imagine she looks like me. She has no, I wonder how she's going to look like. Well, like, is she gonna have blonde hair or is she gonna, I think she's gonna have brown hair. And I don't, I don't know about, I think the eye color too is gonna be the same as ours because that's ha what happened to my mom. Yeah. I'm not sure though. Yeah. She, every baby's different, so I don't know. Uh, it didn't feel really appropriate to be telling her over FaceTime. But, you know, she took it, she, she laughed, she cried. Um, she had, legitimate fears you know mm -hmm. my 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 biggest disappointment is not there to give her a hug and and tell her everything's going to be okay you know i hope everything's going to be okay everything is going to be okay yeah <laughs> so this is my cat wolverine when he's really really hot he just lays like this means he is melting heat happiness Dear Alma, it's been almost two months since we started to quarantine and isolate from the rest of the world. And uh, California is still quarantining, but a lot of states have been slowly reopening and people are slowly going back to what's normal. 
but California will be closed for two to four more weeks, maybe, honey? May the, May the 15th. That's what they say now. But anyways, because we're expecting you, we will be quarantining for a little bit longer. Probably until you're born and after. <laughs> it's gonna be a long year trying to put up with this man. I don't care. I am very the upset. The lights not good. It's not Shut a good up. Shot. Because I take that shot. It's not a good Jamie shot. Actually, bought a whole box of Ferrero Rocher and he decided he was gonna eat them all and didn't even share one with me. I'm the one who likes chocolate. <laughs> And I didn't Alma. decide. I didn't decide to eat them all. I just nibbled on them as I went, and as I was cooking him with lunch and dinner and every other. But meal. why didn't he even share one chocolate with me? Because I'm you diabetes. You know all these. <laughs> diabetes. You don't need to eat more chocolate. I'm the one who needs chocolate. Oh wow, you're right. Look at me. Yeah. Oh no. Gordo. Milk. I need milk. Away. I mean, no, it's not fair food. that he ate all my chocolate. Chocolate, it's for me. Food no. food. <laughs> okay, next one I'll put your name on it, okay? And you'll be fine. And you say you don't like chocolate and candies. Look at this. So he's been planting all day. Look at yourself. <laughs> I'm Batman. <laughs> I want to show you how much our garden has grown uh, since the last two months, a month and a half. So we got kale, we got red peppers, eggplant, zucchini. We have a garden for Alma. Yay, 2020. Pandemic. Yay. <laughs> It's, we're starting to, uh, what's the right word? We're what? tiring of being in quarantine as much as the rest of the population is. It's been hard in LA. Uh, the weather went from cold, very cold and rainy, very wet winter, yeah. went to really, really, really warm, really hot. They've closed the beaches, they've closed all the parks uh, here. So people have been really antsy to get out. We begin today with a protest after Governor Newsom signed a temporary hard closure of all OC beaches. Earlier, we saw HB police trying to keep traffic going and the sheriff's response team assisting to keep people on sidewalks. All this in defiance of Governor Gavin Newsom's directive to close all beaches in OC effective today. That announcement infuriating many out here in Orange County's coastal cities who argue this will devastate businesses out here already hanging by a thread and be detrimental to those who rely on the beach for mental and physical well-being. We are the government. We tell the governor what to do. It's we the people. We should all be able to decide for ourselves what level of risk we're willing to uh, endure. At the Capitol, while many people stayed in their cars to protest the governor's orders, hundreds filled the front steps, not adhering to social distancing guidelines. When I first was going out, I felt odd putting the mask on. I was like, I, like to the point of maybe being a little bit embarrassed about putting the mask on. Uh, and now it's completely opposite. Now I look at someone without the mask and think how odd, like, it's like, why are they not wearing a mask? So it's, it's strange how it's all flipped and how mm -hmm. normalized wearing masks in Los Angeles and I'm sure in New York, um, there's a lot of fear of the unknown, but also there's a lot of self-examination uh, of what people want from life, what they want for the rest of their life. Uh, and I think that's healthy. You know, mm -hmm. I think that the world was, was in a somewhat a decadent place. And I think that it's good for us to pause and just consider what we want for our children. Yeah. And I was also thinking Burning Man has been cancelled. All the festivals have been cancelled. You know, it's not like we're missing out also in the social world. It's and no FOMO. It's no FOMO. And, you know, sometimes when you're pregnant, you have to give up a lot of things. And it's like, well, maybe this is the perfect time to be pregnant. You know, like I'm an actress. I work doing films all the time. And like now there's no productions going on. It's probably not going to be any productions until 2021. Or we don't know how, how the Hollywood industry and the industry is going to change. 
So maybe again, it's a blessing that I'm having this baby now because you know I don't have to put my life on pause. The world put itself on pause. I wish I could see what the world looked like when my mother was pregnant. I only have one video of me as a child. I am on top of a rock with a tutu, playing with my cousin Lynn Andrea. I am very happy that Jamie and I decided to document this part of our lives and leave a digital memory for you, my dear Alma. A little time capsule that one day, when you're old enough, you can open it and relive your early existence. A historical glimpse of your parents and my early beginnings of motherhood. I still find it hard to imagine what it would look like for you and the next generations. All we can do for now is to embrace the change, hope for the best, and keep a positive mindset as the future is rapidly unfolding in front of us.